Hi guys, 45 past the hour on a Friday means it's time to check in with the answer man, Steve Pokin from the Springfield News Leader this morning. Good morning. Good morning. What are we poking around with today? It is a, uh, it's a love story. That's what, I, that's a, what I figured out when I read It's a love morning, story yeah. between a man and his chihuahua. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerry Manson is 65 years old, doesn't call his chihuahua Abella his best friend. It was his soulmate. Wow. And Abella died in August of 2017, and he was crushed. Right. Uh, he said the dog knew when he was happy, knew when he was sad. He drove it to the Grand Canyon. Uh, he, wherever he was, he had it in the crook of his arm. And he, um, he has built a memorial to Abella. Love that picture. There, there, there she is. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> At the uh, Lakeland Pet Cemetery. There's Jerry. And he's put up two black marble benches. Uh, and he has, he's planted trees in the background. Uh, there are flowers. There's a stone. There's, there are security cameras. He's had some lights stolen, so he put in the security cameras. Mm -hmm. He estimates that he has spent about uh, $14,000. Wow. And okay. this, this is near the, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the uh, Galloway Creek Running Trail mm -hmm. yes. and Biking yeah. Trail. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's the Pet Cemetery is right before you get to the James River Expressway. That's right. Yeah, I've run past that before. Yeah. And, and you cannot miss this because the rules are that all your, the headstones have to be flush with the ground. Okay. okay. So he negotiated that. He, uh, and he, he runs his own company. He's a man of some financial means. He says, well, if I can't, he wanted they settle on the benches, which okay. are upright. Yeah. And, and because he negotiated and said, you know, if I can't bury her here, I'm going to buy five acres in Arkansas and bury her there. Oh, wow. said, okay, well, the benches are okay. <laughs> and he's got an upright angel coming. And what he has found is that he goes there twice a day usually. And he's been there three, three or four hours every day. He's missed, well, not every, he's missed a few days. Uh, and when he arrives, three different times he has come to the pet cemetery and seen people in tears about their pet, losing their pet. Of course. Shows the, the emotional bond that people have with yeah. their pet. And he shares the story of Abella. And the, the strange thing, the str stranger thing, is that he, uh, the funeral home says, we can get you a spot for yourself up on the hill. You can look down at Abella. And he says, that's not good enough. What he wants to do is he wants them to somehow bend the rules or change the rules. He wants to be buried in the pet cemetery next to his beloved dog. That is some, that is some love for, for your dog. That's a lot of love. That's yeah. a whole lot of love. Okay, but it got turned down, right? <laughs> he says it's, in, uh, it's all being negotiated. Okay, very interesting. Maybe a follow-up story there. Steve, thanks so much for being here this morning. Oh, you're very welcome. You can find this story on the Newsleaders website. And we have Daybreak in 10 coming your way in just a couple minutes.